Hi guys, it's Evange. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cute box pleated skirt. Uh, now box pleats are, they can be pleats, you can press them in, but really they're just kind of glorified gathering. Um, it's a bit neater than gathering though. Um, you can make them big, you can make them small, it's up to you. Uh, but I've made this skirt using, you know, pretty small ones, one inch wide, whatever. Um, so yeah, keep watching this tutorial if you'd like to know how to make this. You can also check out my website, www.evangesews.com, for um, diagrams and step-by-step -step instructions. So to start, you need to take some measurements. Uh, you basically only need two measurements. You need to know how long you want your skirt to be, uh, which on me, that's going to be from about my natural waist to about my knee. Um, and then I'm going to add a hem allowance. Now I'm adding about 8 inches for a hem allowance. That seems like a lot, um, but it's basically just 4 inches folded over twice. Um, and uh, why it's so big is it's going to make the skirt drape nicer. It's going to add a bit of weight to the bottom, um, which will make it drape nicer. And especially with skirts that are kind of gathered through the waist, um, it does make it fall a lot nicer as opposed to just puffing out. Um, so yeah, so make your, the length is going to be the length, how long you want it, plus your hem allowance, plus your seam allowance. Um, and then the other measurement you need is a waistband measurement. Now I'm doing my waistband at my natural waist. Um, however, you can do it lower, you can do a dropped waist, high waist, wherever you want. Just measure where you want your skirt to, to start. Um, uh, and then you're going to have to measure, uh, multiply this measurement by three. Because, uh, because of the way it's pleated, the pleats go kind of into a pleat and then out and then over. So anywhere in the waistband, the fabric is going to be three times thick. So you just take your um, uh, waistband measurement and multiply it by three. So you're going to need to cut your fabric so that it's, you know, your desired width plus your hem allowance plus your seam allowance. And then the width is going to be three times your waistband. Uh, now, on me... Uh, I've cut out two panels of fabric and that's going to be approximately right. Um, what you can do though is if this is too big, you kind of cut it down on the side. Um, if it's too small, you'd have to add another panel, maybe cut them down, um, or you could just use wider fabric. Uh, but basically, you just need your fabric, the final width needs to be three times your, your finished width. Um, so what I've done is I've cut out two panels of fabric, which is going to be about right for me, and then I've sewn it into a loop. So it's kind of like a big skirt sack kind of thing now. Uh, however, I have left a gap at the top. This is where my zipper is going to go. To sew a zipper, you basically just leave a zipper sized slit along one of your seams. Uh, and then I've already switched my sewing machine to a zipper foot. And what you need to do is along one of these seams, you just take your zipper, place it right sides together and then sew. Okay, and then you zip your zipper up and then do the same thing along the other side. And that is how you sew a zipper. Uh, if you like, you can also top stitch or kind of anchor it at the bottom here, but uh, this is an invisible zipper, so I'm not going to do any of that because I don't want to see it. And then the next step, I like to hem it. Now, you'd, most people save hemming for the end, but I like to hem it um, right away just because there's going to be stuff going on in the waistband, so I want to have this done and out of the way. Okay, so now it's been hemmed, so uh, you can start making the pleats. Now, uh, what I'd ordinarily do is I'd go around and I'd mark off every two inches along the top, but because this fabric is stripey, I'm not going to mark off inches, I'm just going to go by the stripes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, every two of these, I'm going to bring it up, and then I'm going to sew a little seam like this, and then two inches over, and then sew a little seam like this and then two inches over, and then sew a little seam like this. So I'm gonna end up with a bunch of like seams, like just short seams, like half an inch, one inch long. Um, it's just gonna make it easier in the long run. And this is more or less what you'll end up with. Now what you need to do is just kind of flatten these and um, pin them in place like that and then uh, sew along to hold it in place. 
So once you have your skirt like this, you can press it, but you don't have to. I'd maybe press it for um, if you've done a bigger box pleat, but I've done pretty small ones, so I'm not even going to bother. This is like a glorified gather, not pleats, barely. It's very loose, very freeform. Um, again, it doesn't have to be exact like knife pleats either. Um, it, it's really, you know, if there's a tiny bit of extra space between some of them or some of them overlap, don't worry about it. It's no one's going to notice. Box pleats don't have to be exact. Um, it makes a really easy skirt. It's a bit neater looking, I think, than a dirndl skirt, which is just gathered at the top. Um, but once you're at this point, you need to add a waistband or add, attach it to a dress or whatever. Um, so I'm doing a skirt, so I'm going to do a waistband. So I've just cut out a piece of fabric that's the length of my weight, uh, waist plus several inches of overlap and I'm just gonna sew this on right sides together then fold it in half iron it fold under the ends and then um, top stitch hold it in place ta-da what do you think so I'm done I'm just gonna run through quickly again what I did uh, I cut out a skirt um, and the length is whatever length you wanted which was for me was from my waist to my knee plus about eight inches for a hem allowance and then the width you cut it is um, three times the width of your desired waistband. For me, that's my natural waist. Um, I sewed it together into a skirt, leaving about a six inch gap at the top to sew my zipper in. Uh, then I hemmed it, then I added some box pleats. Now to make the box pleats, um, I followed, just because this has a stripy pattern, I followed the pattern. Um, but if you don't have a pattern skirt, you just mark off where you want your pleats to be, um, even make, mark off even amounts. Um, I sewed little pinches into the fabric, every two repeats of the fabric, then I kind of flattened those, uh, sewed it in place, and um, then I sewed on a waistband, which is just a straight strip of fabric, um, tiny bit big, tiny bit bigger than your waist. Um, I sewed that on um, right sides together, then I flipped it over, folded it in half, folded all the rough edges in, ironed it, and then top stitch it. You might want to look at my circle skirt tutorial because that kind of explains the waistband a lot better. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, in the waistband, there is a bit of like an overlap here and I, I meant for that, right now I've just pinned it, uh, but I'm gonna add a hook and eye. I don't have any right now, so I can't do that, so I just pinned it for today because I want to wear this. Um, and then obviously I have paired it with like a petticoat uh, to give it the poof. Um, and yeah, that's it. So if you like this tutorial, remember to subscribe. You can also check out my website, www.evangesews.com, where I'll be posting um, detailed diagrams and step-by-step -step instructions, because um, I know I kind of gloss things over in the videos. But anyway, thanks for watching.